In Sydney's north, flames that had laid waste with at least 93 homes destroyed. Rage. Hello, I'm Daniel. I'm Chris. And I'm Ben. We're from Civil Chair. And you're watching Rage, Rage. on the television. Yeah. Now. Rage, mate. Morrissey. <clears throat> because... In my opinion, Morrissey just embodies every horrible trait that a human can possibly possess. I mean, he's British, and he doesn't have to work very hard. I mean, they have a handicap anyway. But, um, I mean, you notice all the great musicians who are English moved. Ozzy Osbourne, Geezer Butler, Tony Iommi, and Bill Ward, the members of Black Sabbath, one of the world's greatest bands, even though they are English. Uh, they they moved you know to America, which is great. Um, I just love this video because it it catches our hero Morrissey lounging about on lonely, isolated terrain in this uh, hilarious shirt. And I just whenever I I see the video uh, of November spawned a monster, I'm always here with a twinge of regret that it was not I who got to direct this video because in the last scene Morrissey just would be doused with gasoline and set on fire to and then we would just get uh, some uh, a wild sound mic up and just catch the sound of his hair and the the polyester shirt burning into his skin and and his last cries on earth and what we would do is we could take that put a house beat behind it put it on a 12 inch and sell it to all these emaciated you know, kids with bad teeth who don't have enough vitamin C, who never get outside. I mean, it's like, Morrissey, cheer up. You know, it's not that bad. You know, when you, when you have as much money as that guy does, you know, I'd be happy. You know, David Lee Roth once said money can't buy you. He said the money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you a boat big enough to sail right up next to it. <laughs> so I think the guy should cheer up. So I think, you know, we should play this video today to, to show everybody, uh, you know, the, the traits they shouldn't cultivate. Look at Morrissey and be just jump up and down, enjoy that you're not him. That's, that's why. And I know that this might be a little cruel, that I might have, you know, bashed our beautiful friends over there in Britain. And, you know, I, I really don't care. You know, I don't, I don't really, I really don't care. Like, let's... Um, Personally, I wouldn't want to burn him up. I, I would like to tie him to a chair and, and tease him until he pees his pants and promises never to do it again. Hi, this is Beck, and you're watching Rage. Happy 20th birthday, Rage. 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 Hey, Rage. Happy 20th. Rage. We love you. We love you. We love you. Rage. This is Miss World, which is a, a good video directed by Sophie Mueller. When I was about 15, or 14, I used to be uh, really into Nirvana and uh, Hole and I was kind of going through that really rebellious grunge stage. So uh, yeah, Courtney, I was just, I was in love with Courtney Love. So uh, I, I learnt this song, Miss World, on guitar cause, and I thought it was so cool because I could play it so hard with all the power chords and stuff. And uh, yeah, so this is it, Hole, Miss World. Uh, Blur is one of our next picks, Boys and Girls, just because uh, it's one of the coolest Blur songs, I think, and the video is really cool, sort of deceiving, makes makes Damon Albarn look like, a, I don't know, some sort of homoerotic seductress, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny, like, seeing that, seeing that video for the first time, like, I didn't really know who Blur was, and it sort of gave me, like, a really funny impression of them, that they were, like, Sort of like a homosexual band. That's sort of like the impression I got. And Nick being a homosexual, like, so it's, it's <laughs> perfect. And me being a homosexual, it all fit. <laughs> but then later on, you sort of like realize that it was a joke all along. But it's or still a really cool it? song. Or was it? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, so, you know, Boys and Girls by Blur. The Beastie Boys have teamed up with a young upstart director from LA, a kid named Spike Jones, and uh, they've made one of the finest videos ever. Um, basically this video boils down to mustaches, and these mustaches definitely blow your mind. It is basically one of the best videos of ever. all time. Uh, you have Cochise, you have uh, car chases, you have cool just cool mustaches. Yeah. It is a very good video, and nice usage of uh, mustaches and wigs and 
great 70s suits and uh, good sense of humor. When everybody around you kind of tells you, like, you know, ah, you, you guys are just a shtick. You're, you're a passing thing. You're a, you're a flash in the pan, so to speak. You're a one-hit wonder. Those, those guys actually, you know, really, you know, stuck in their heels and, uh, you know, put out some amazing music. And um, I, think, I think my favorite video is, is Sabotage. Definitely. Definitely. And so here it's a fun it is. Video. Here's Sabotage by the Beastie Boys. Hi there, we're the Strokes, and you're watching, and I'm feeling rage. <laughs> <laughs> Get some crumpets and some tea. Some hot Milo. And pot! And skag! The show oh, with bars. Rage. Dropping Freon. Ow. Yeah, that's a take. Steve Malkmus, Mark Eibel, we're members of Pavement, and you're watching Rage. Please stay tuned. You want to take this one? Go for it. Soundgarden. Why are they so bitchin'? Why do they rock so hard? I don't know. Why but did they, they break do... up if they rock so hard? Now, the thing is, this is I picked this video because um, it's kind of scary, but it's also kind of ridiculous. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Because, like, all the people in the video turn into devil like... <laughs> By, yeah, by distorting their features. Yeah, but then... <laughs> Too happy, that's true. Like, for instance, here's a smile. Yeah. And I go really big, then it becomes scary. Anyway, you'll see what we mean. This is Black Hole's Sun by Soundgarden. Most people wouldn't think I'd like Nine Inch Nails because they're kind of goofy. No, not, or spooky, one goofy, of the two. Spooky. But this video, Closer, I really like it because it's real goofy and spooky. No, the only time we know when we listen to it. Oh, yeah. We like to listen to Nine Inch Nails when we're doing that. <laughs> no, we don't do that. In bed, but we're not doing that tonight. But, yeah, they're good music, too. I have a little, too. So you have a big night ambience. of... Ambiance. Nice ambiance. Nine Inch Nails, that's the record you want to listen to. This video is good, though. We'll watch it, and we're going to get busy. No, we're not. <laughs> no, no. My head hurts. I can't get busy. <laughs> I have a scar. <laughs> Okay, this is That's Entertainment by The Charm. Uh, Paul Weller is one of our favourite songwriters. And uh, when was it? December? Last, just December, back in December, we played in London. And uh, Paul got up and jammed with us. We did So Sad It Was by The Who, Dark End of the Street by Aretha Franklin. And uh, it was a kind of, sort of bluesy, jammy, funky thing. Also, it was great. It was great to play with. It's a great player, so that's entertainment. One of the great things about going to see Paul Weller play live is there are little cliques within the audience who are having discussions about whether or not Weller solo is better than Weller with the Style Council or whether the Style Council are better than the jam. Uh, because of the age I am and because I uh, was birthed in the cleansing fire of punk rock, I'm a died in the wall jam fan, and this is perhaps their greatest moment, that's entertainment. Hi, we're you and I. Uh, we want to wish uh, Rage happy 20th. All the best. Yes.